Hello! In this video I will show you how to set up Pixma 2 Cloud link. I will print and scan from the cloud. In this video I will show the following and can be used for different Pixma models with Wi-Fi and cloud compatibility. Connecting Pixma to Cloud Link requires a little bit of setup. Let's see where to get more info about the Pixma. There are many usage scenarios for Pixma covered in my videos in the Pixma playlist. You can use Pixma with different apps, you can use it with different software, and you can even print by talking to Pixma. All these has been covered on my channel. Hey Google, talk to Canon printer. Welcome to Canon printer, what would you like me to print? First, I will print from cloud via the Canon Print Inkjet Selfie app. The Pixma printer in this video has been already connected to my local Wi-Fi network with internet access and registered to Canon app. I have also already created my Canon ID via the displayed link on the screen. For more information how to log in your printer remote web interface, check my video in the upper right corner of the screen. Let's print a document. Select Document Print. If you select Documents, you print document from your mobile. And when I select Cloud Services, I get the list of available cloud sites. On the top of the list you find Image.Canon service, which offers free storage and you can open your account using Canon ID as well. To print from the cloud, let me select my Google Drive and log in using one of my Gmail accounts. Allow access and I find my documents on my G Drive. This is very simple. Let's print. Yeah, it just happened that my printer is out of paper, so let me put in some paper and print the document. Connecting Pixma to Cloud Link requires a little bit of setup. Pixma printer is connected to Wi-Fi and registered to Canon app. Tap Printer icon to find more options. There is possibility to connect Pixma to Chat Print, printing from Facebook Messenger. My detailed tutorial is in the upper right corner of the screen. And I will not cover more details in this video, so let's move on to set up Pixma 2 Cloud Link. Let's start from Canon App main screen again. Tap the printer icon. 
Remember that my Canon ID has been already created, so follow the next steps. At this step, I will skip the product registration. And at this point, you need to create your new Inkjet Cloud Printing Center account. I already have one and my printer is added to my account. Finally, the CloudLink menu opens and you can see several cloud services from which you can print or scan. Let's use the Pixma with Cloud link to scan to the cloud. I will scan to my Google Drive. Using cloud service for the first time requires login and later logging will not be needed anymore. There are cloud services like OneDrive, Dropbox, G Drive from which you can print and scan. From others like photo storage sites you can print only. To demonstrate scan to cloud I will use the default settings, which is auto scan mode. So the device will automatically detect the type of scan and adjust the scan settings. To know more about how to use scan via PC and also auto scan details, find my Inkjet Scan Utility video in the upper right corner of the screen. My document has been scanned to G Drive and in the Cloud menu you can configure your apps in the main menu. You can add additional possibilities like Scan to Email and you'll find more details about Scan to Email setup in the Cloud link in the video in the upper right corner of the screen. In the Cloud Link menu, you can see the status of your printer, the ink levels, you can see the history of cloud jobs, and finally, if you need some more info about Cloud Link possibilities, let me know in the comments. And it's also possible to share your printer with up to 20 people. And that is all in this video. Find more about Pixma in the getting the most out of your printer in the web manuals or check the playlists on my channel. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, so I can grow my channel. You will also find more apps and also different types of media to use with your Pixma. And about creative media you can find in the video in the upper right corner of the screen. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.